quality number one, mm -hmm. what do you mean when you say divine truth is infinite? Well, since God is infinite, and since it makes sense that the universe potentially it has, has a potential for infinite growth, it also then, we can logically assume, that divine truth itself, in other words, all of God's truth, is infinite in its nature. In other, in other words, we will never find out everything that God has done. And in fact, it's interesting because some holy books on the planet actually say that. Mm -hmm. So the Bible, for example, in Ecclesiastes says that, that you will never find out everything that God has done. No matter how long you live and no matter how long you investigate truth, you will never find out everything. And that is a quality of divine truth. And it's a logical, if you think about it, it's logical to assume that, that this is the case. That being the case, no finite thing can contain something that's infinite. Mm -hmm. And that means that things like the Bible or other holy books such as the Koran do not contain the full amount of God's truth. They, it is impossible for them to contain such. And, and so this quality means that it's impossible for us to contain an infinite amount of divine truth in a finite system. And, and we, humankind, create finite systems. So when we write a book, we write a book and it has a start and an end and might have a few thousand pages in between, but sooner or later it gets too big and uh, for us to manage generally. And so we, we finalise the book and have a finite system. But God's truth is infinite. So there's no way, logically, that an infinite truth can fit into a finite system. And the only way, in fact, that truth can fit into us is by our soul growing towards the infinite. Mm -hmm. And the only way our soul can grow towards the infinite is by our absorption of divine love, and that causes our soul to grow infinite, infinitely beyond its original capacity. And that then allows the, that particular soul who has chosen to grow with divine love to start absorbing more and more of the infinite truth. And so really in the end, the only book or word of God that will be contained on the planet will be the word as written in those people who receive divine love to the point where they've grown beyond the normal capacity of a human to absorb it. And that's the only way that we can become the word of God. Mm -hmm. So just to clarify, you were saying that God's truth is infinite in its nature. Mm -hmm. So it can never be contained in a finite thing like a book. Mm. Um, and you're saying that we ourselves have the potential to grow infinitely? Towards the infinite. Yes. Of course, we'll never become God mm -hmm. um, because God, by definition, is probably also continuously expanding. Mm -hmm. We don't know that, of course, because we don't, it's hard for the, for the creation to know what created it yeah. as, as, you know, right down to the infinite detail. Yeah. But we do know that we grow beyond our original human capacity if we receive divine love, which mm -hmm. is from the infinite source. Mm -hmm. So as long as we do that, we have the capacity to receive more and more divine truth. We have the capacity to understand more and more of it, but we will never know it all, ever. Right. And Th so that is the quality of divine truth. You are never going to know it all. Mm. So give up the whole concept of trying to know it all. <laughs> and also stop listening to anybody who tells you they know it all because <laughs> they don't. <laughs> sure, great. Mm. Thank you. Good.